Hey guys, welcome back to ATLQL Labs. Uh, today we will talk about uh, the basic and very important concept uh, that will uh, that is the crux of entire SQL that uh, series that we are going to cover. Yeah, so we will talk about the SQL commands and uh, all the questions. Most of the question, I think 90, 95 percent questions that will uh, any uh, that will be asked in the interview will be based on uh, commands yeah here are there some some uh, different way so we need to understand and I will try to cover you know I will try to give you very very uh, uh, you know uh, daily life example to understand what are these commands are right so you can easily correlate and then that will uh, that will be very good for your uh, you know uh, understanding the holistic uh, view of uh, these commands right so without any further delay let's start yeah so we have got uh, in the previous session as I discussed that we have got uh, four commands uh, uh, okay four different SQL commands set of commands uh, type of commands I would say so type of SQL commands DDL uh, that is called data definition language then we have got DML that is called data manipulation language and third one is DCL data control language and fourth one is DCL uh, TCL uh, transaction control language okay so we will see one by one and uh, we will try to understand what are these right so DDL as it says the data definition language so guys uh, as name suggests that data definition language right so basically we are actually defining the definition right so so we are creating a definition definition I say it's a uh, the, the very ba very basic building block right so for example mm, just assume that when I say DDL statements so you have a house right uh, you are going to build a house right so to build the structure of the house uh, whatever things that we need what what are the things that we do we actually um, uh, need the bricks and uh, sand cement everything right and then we construct a house right and then house is constructed that is called creating the house right so building a house so that is nothing but the create uh, statement that is what you can understand right so building house is uh, a create creating uh, the house right in database language uh, the house will be uh, will be also we will we will try to take the analogy as a table right so table uh, we'll see it later what is the table but for now just try to understand that the house uh, is a table and we are going to create a house are so there are couple of things that we can do so for example if the house is created there will be the chances then we also need to alter the house right sometime so for example uh, you have uh, um, two balconies yeah you would like to you would like to do a little bit of modification you want to uh, make one balcony and then other space uh, can be used for something other purpose right so you do and you do the alter right you do the alter means you actually uh, uh, changing uh, uh, the structure all right of that particular house and sometime what happens is if you have uh, you have a problem with uh, what you say uh, the structure itself and uh, you feel that it is not as per structure and then there is a some you know le legal issues then what will happen the entire building has to entire house has to be demolished uh, so that is part of you know drop dropping the structure so your house can be demolished that is nothing but the drop statement that we use in uh, SQL DDL as part of DDL and then fourth one is that we use is the truncate so truncate is basically you have already built a house and uh, inside that you have put all this uh, so house is built people started living and you have you have also put in the things inside yeah uh, which means uh, so guys uh, you already you know uh, inside house if you started living and then living and then you also have you know furnitures you have kitchen items you have uh, you know uh, interiors everything is done right and then 
what you have to do is maybe you know one fine day you found that everything inside the house is so old and we need to you know refurbish the entire house inside isn't it so what you do is you actually remove all this item and you you know sell it out or whatever and then you buy the new stuff uh, but actually you are not uh, breaking the house right entire in structure you do the little painting and other things in inside the house wall painting and other things but actually you are not going to do anything um, you know uh, with related to this uh, you know breaking or something with the structure so that is called the truncate yeah so this is very similar to one of the ddl command a dml command called delete here you see uh, but we will see this is the major difference between uh, truncate and delete but mostly overall uh, ddl commands are basically to deal with the structure of the table right so structure of the table for example creating the table we will see that what is table later on but for now that's the reason i'm giving you analogy right uh, related to um, uh, analogy for the house right second thing yeah so dml commands right so once house is constructed you need to put in the items inside right so you need to insert insert means you are actually bringing in some few uh, items inside let's say so far you know you 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 bring in the sofa you bring in the table you bring in the tv etc so that is nothing but insert yeah and then if you are actually going to uh, do something uh, you know up upgrading your tv etc that is nothing but the update statement right so you actually want the new one you replace this one the old one so that is nothing but the update statement delete means you are actually removing few items which you think that these are no more uh, uh, required in the house right in that case you can actually select those few items and you can for example you feel that you know tv is uh, uh, waste of time and uh, you want to get rid of it then you just sell it out you remove it so that is called delete but here in delete and truncate the major difference is in truncate actually you are uh, removing everything inside the house it we it can be um, you know tv any any items inside the house will be removed when you run the truncate command yeah but in delete you can actually you have the option to select few items whatever you want to get rid of it that's why they are the ddl statement and then select statement is the very most importantly used i think this is most importantly used for the SQL, I mean, uh, as, uh, test engineers and uh, the production support engineers, right? Uh, so these are the most important. This is the most important command select, which means if you want to find out something, you know, uh, what are the items are there inside the house, then you go and use the select statement, isn't it? You want to find out, you know, select start from house A. Let's say the house name is A, right? So select start from star from A. Then it will give you everything that is there inside so table furniture whatever right so everything it will show you so that is nothing but displaying something inside the house right so that is used as a select statement all right so i have just taken example yeah these are the items that could be uh, you know and then on these items you are going to perform the operations all right guys so this is the dml statement so guys you have understood now the ddl has to do with the structure of the house wall bricks etc and inside the house if any items are there which you need to take care that you can actually use the d uh, you know dml statement yeah then third thing is the third command type of command is dcl that is called data control language a data control language right so data control language is basically giving uh, authority um, to do certain operation if a user is given uh, authority to update you know uh, insert something inside the house or you know to uh, get inside the house uh, other person and then that person will be able to insert something in inside the house otherwise not right i mean this is how the security mechanism works isn't it i mean the owner of this table has to give the permission okay you are permitted to bring in the things or you are permitted to you know uh, do whatever you want to do inside the house then that is called the grant granting some permission so permission uh, are very widely you know it can be used on the table level it can be used on um, you know other objects of the database so basically the permissioning granting some permission yeah on, on on certain objects 
now DCL, DCL. I mean, once we obviously do, you know, uh, our practical things, and we will see that how it works, you will be able to make more understanding. But uh, for now, you know that DCL are basically revoking some permission from uh, from the table. Or let's say in this case, we are taking the example of the house. Then from the house, uh, you are uh, taken out some permission. So these are called the data control language, controlling um, controlling the permissions, right, uh, to perform. And then TCL is uh, commit, rollback, and save point. There are the three different commands that were, that are being used as part of TCL. TCL is transaction control language, which means let's say I have uh, four items. Yeah, one thing, one is furniture, uh, let's say table and a sofa, and I have TV and fridge. Right, four items. What I do is uh, I I want to just uh, make sure you know they are coming on the different different times actually they are getting delivered I have ordered it they are getting delivered on different different times now uh, after uh, you know um, uh, few things are delivered let's say TV is delivered and sofa is delivered there are two more items which are yet to come so what I will do is once those things are delivered uh, you know I I just uh, want to commit it commit means once I commit it I cannot just return it back okay so that is something just take that example just try to understand it so basically when you are performing multiple dml operations multiple dml operations and then you want to save that right uh, because so that you know if there is uh, some problem happens in between during the transaction the transaction until uh, you know uh, so that is the safe point basically so basically to commit something that you know it cannot be uh, it is uh, to make it save right so something if you are writing in some notepad or something if you want to save something you say save right so that is commit and if you want to uh, go back you say control Z or undo right so undo means roll back you can actually go back to previous state right and then save point as I said uh, the example like I have four items two items delivered I want to commit it that uh, you know that uh, if something happens then those two items at least should be with me right so that is what we use the save point okay now guys uh, I think uh, this gives you little understanding I know it is not very straightforward but then try to understand from the perspective of the SQL what we do right so in DDL what we do is we have something called table yeah so table is nothing but it, it's made of rows and columns I will show you uh, in a pictorial representation maybe here so you have let's say employee number employee name and uh, let's say salary isn't it so for example one two three yeah three employees name is let's say a b c salary is 10k uh, 10k 20k and 15 16k all right now guys you see that this is coming uh, in in a certain uh, skeleton or some structure right so this this is called table so table is made of what rows and columns so these are rows right so how many rows one row two row three rows four rows right so basically this first row is what first row is um, basically the header right so we will not consider this as a record okay so this is not the record but I have three records here yeah so one two three three records and then how many columns are there guys one two three three columns employee name employee number employee number employee name and salary these are three columns so the it is like three by three this table is made up three by three rows and three columns okay so this is what the table is made of rows and columns which contains the information about this employee in this case okay I hope you understand right so table so to create this table isn't it I mean right now we have uh, this table is having some data obviously some data but before that I need to create this structure of the table isn't it I mean there should be no name employee number employee name employee and salary right so this structure should be formed first so what I will do is I will use the DDL statement okay so DDL statement I will use the create alter drop truncate any of this right whichever is applicable right so to create this skeleton first yeah so this skeleton will be created and after that I need in need to insert the data isn't it 
because this uh, is skeleton is created and now I have to put the data like one two three employee number and then employee name and salary etc so this is nothing but DML operation that's what we are saying here is insert right inserting the data inside that right so when we insert the data we actually do not uh, uh, we do not do anything with re respect to the skeleton skeleton is same like I have three columns and in these three columns only I have to put the data okay so this is called DML uh, all right insert update delete and, uh, and uh, insert update delete and select right and then uh, you know this DCL DCL is basically grant and revoke on those tables that we will see it I think but most importantly you need to understand DDL and DML for now and after that uh, these are uh, this this is one time activity you know these are normally uh, handled by database administrator normally not by developer so the DBA will uh, give you the required permission when they create you as a user right and uh, and this is also used when uh, we are actually writing um, the PLSQL blocks yeah mostly so but for uh, learning the SQL I think most important thing is we need to understand DDL and DML okay so guys I think this is what I wanted to cover uh, little bit about uh, types of SQL and then um, uh, you know in the next video uh, we will take one by one so in the next video I think uh, we will take the DDL uh, statement and we will see how to create a table how to alter the table how to drop the table and how to truncate the table yeah these four commands and uh, these four commands are very important so somebody is asking you what are the DDL commands you have to you should be able to clarify this now I think I hope right so you can also give some example right so uh, what is DDL what is DML what is DCL what is TCL right so hope this is making sense to you and uh, let's see uh, in the next video guys and until then uh, you know keep practicing and uh, do comment uh, on the video if you have any questions any clarification that you need uh, you know if something you did not understand I am happy to clarify but uh, give me uh, you know uh, give your comment so that I will be able to understand and also tell me whether you are able to understand you know uh, uh, my videos and it is really making sense to you or not right because I am creating all this uh, uh, series just for you so that you understand in very layman language um, as if you have never learned about SQL uh, so that is the reason you know I am going to the lowest possible you know uh, level of information that you can uh, so that you can understand okay guys so see you uh, later with the next video uh, okay until then happy learning bye